In today's video, I'll be playing a game called Supernatural. If you're looking for a horror game that will have you scared of old ladies, then this game might be for you. The game uses your mic to pick up your location, so be careful how loud you are or what you say because the entity does take shit personally. They really put in the game description no tedious puzzles and I'm about to- oh! You'll step into the shoes of Detective Wyatt, tasked with solving puzzles to uncover the mystery behind Miss Suzanne's disappearance. But beware, as you dig deeper and finally uncover the truth, will you have the courage to face it? Also, this game has a long ass intro, so let me not yap so you guys can listen. Detective Wyatt, man, I can't believe I'm talking to you. I've been a huge fan of your work, especially that Sakamoto case. The way you crafted was pure genius. Your dedication is legendary. And that's why I knew you were the right person to reach out to. I've got this strange situation at my place that's been keeping me up at night. Well, Colton, I appreciate the kind words. Nice to meet you. Now, tell me, what's going on? It's about Mrs. Susan, like I mentioned in the evening. The lady helping my pregnant fiance, Kaylee, and me around the house. We brought her in because she seemed very lonely. She's practically family, living right next to our house. About a week ago, she disappeared, gone. Not answering calls, missing her usual hours. Disappeared for a week? Yeah, that's definitely cause for concern. Anything unusual about her behavior before she vanished? Yeah, that's the thing. She started acting strangely, calling us by different names, humming these bizarre tunes. It really freaked out Kayla. She went to stay with her parents for a bit. I couldn't just leave Mrs. Susan alone. I thought maybe it's dementia or something. Can you look into it, Detective? Oh, and don't worry about Bashka. Hopefully, she'll still be sleeping when I get back in a few hours. But I gotta warn you, she can be one noisy little girl sometimes. I understand, Colton. I love dogs. And I'll start an investigation right away. You go be with Kaylee. And about the money, don't worry. You'll find Mrs. Susan. She's been like a grandmother to you two, right? Absolutely, Detective. She's been like family. We don't have much, especially after buying this house. But Mrs. Susan means everything to us, you know? Well, I'm heading straight to Kaylee's parents now. Please, give me a call as soon as you find out anything. We're really worried about I'm not even already, bro. I just got in the game. It's like that. Oh my gosh, she's getting them ghostly back shots right now, bro. I just got hit with a two-minute cutscene, some thunderstorm, and then Granny's over here moaning in my ear. All right, so I was gonna introduce Boshka. We ain't doing that no more. I will say, though, that that man at the beginning, Colton, that dude really looked like Shamik Moore. Like, I was tripping out that whole time. All right. So, we going to start turning on lights, and then I'm going to start looking for clues. I, I can already tell this game's going to be on some ho shit. I'm not going to lie, though. I didn't even notice the storm out here. This got to be some Florida hurricanes. <laughs> no wonder they can't find Miss Suzanne. She must have got blown away walking over here. Oh, I can interact with this. Hold on. Move the camera to find a clue. To examine it, hold down the zoom button. Keep in mind that there may be more, more than one clue in the viewport. Okay. Almost like my place. I don't I don't know we should be proud of that, G. But whatever. This looks like this might be a clue though. Let me zoom into this. Clearly burnt carburetors. Like something's being burning here. I got a feeling Miss Suzanne might be in these trash bags over here. Just so you guys know though, I found like three of these little Funko Pops downstairs. I don't know what they're used for yet because I couldn't interact with them. But if you do decide to play this, just know there's three of them down here. Golly, this dog is passed out. What the cluck? What the cluck? What kind of kinky ass cereal is this? Why does the mascot have big red testicles for a chin? I think I'm good on that cereal. Oh, hey, we can interact with this. Hello, this is an automated message from Pulse Grainer Bank. We regret to inform you that your mortgage 
I don't like that I can move the mouse around. 95,331? Bro, that's crazy. I don't know if I should be more concerned about the ghostly old lady upstairs or the mortgage payment. Because honestly, the mortgage payment might be the bigger problem. He wasn't lying about their financial situation. All right. I don't think there's any more clues downstairs. I'm going to go head upstairs and then see what we can find. There's got to be the most random item you can have at the top of the stairs. Like, I would get jump scared by this shit every time I went up. <gasps> nope. Turn that back on. We're good on that. So I'm going to go to all the lit up rooms first before I go to any dark ones. All right, what do we have in here? Okay, so this is the baby's room. And we got another one of these little Funko Pops. Let me look at this one. Robotsky. I kind of fuck with this one, though. Oh, we can zoom in on this. Weird okay. symbol. I wonder if it could relate to the case. They just look like stars to me. Whatever. I could have swore I heard some footsteps. Let me close this real quick. All right, so we got another one of these toys. Which one is this one? Katsuki? Oh, we got another one up here. Kowski? Okay. Let me see. Let me see if I can mess with the MacBook real quick. Not now. This man said not now. Okay, well, we got to come back to that, I bet. I can relate. <laughs> you said I can relate. Bro, I do not know we should be proud of that. My bad, y'all. I keep hitting the wrong keys. All right, we got a uh, shark ski. Maybe shark over here. And uh, got some weird children drawings. Now, bro, if my kid ever started drawing some shit like this, like we gotta we gotta take him to the orphanage because I'm not dealing with this. God, please no. I've seen too many scary movies, bro. Like, they gotta go. We can try again. What's 17 more years? Says Omni Man. Alright, so we in the master bedroom. Let me see what we got in here. Hold on. Oh no, that's just a door. I'm so dumb. And then we got we got cool ski. And she is still getting her shit beat in. I might go join in. Definitely not going out that door though. A ton of women's laundry. What does that do for the plot though? Why did I need to find this? I can already tell you this freaky ass ghost out there is not wearing that. All right, now what do we have in here? Oh, okay, we got another little Funko Pop. Let me read this one real quick for you guys. This one is Rabinsky. And then we got some ultrasounds down here. Let me look at these. All right, that's not the one I clicked on, whatever. Ultrasound of a child. Probably the client's fiance. When why is it written here? How long do I have to wait? I'm not gonna lie, that's a little weird. Why does it keep taking me to that one? Can I click this one? Different date, same ultrasound. This time it says the truth will come out soon. Okay, so this one said, how long do I have to wait? The truth will come out soon. So there's gotta be something on this last one. Or why would you look at it from this angle? I have a feeling this case is closely tied to the client's fiance. 
All right, so that should be all of the ultrasounds in here. I don't know if there's any more clues in here. Yeah, okay, we're good in this room. The only autosave has just occurred. There's no going back now. You have to face what you signed up for? What do you mean the only autosave? Bro, this is a two-hour game. <gasps> oh, yeah, she's Spider-Man for sure. That's Spider-Granny right there. I don't even know why I went up to the window like that. All right, hold on. Let me click on this real quick. Fucking MacBook's going off. Close that. No fucking way. If I have to chase down a password for another two hours again, I'm out. Forgot your password? Hey, Kaylee, if you've got your computer password for the hundredth time, I've scattered your toy figures around the house and I've labeled the boxes while you, with your login and password. Or, oh, no. Nah, I need to take a picture of this because I am not going to remember this. They really put in the game description, no tedious puzzles, and I'm about to- OH! Alright, well the game heard me talking shit, so let me shut up. Alright, this one is nine. Three. Alright, do we got one in here? Yeah, yeah, we do. We got shark ski. Six. Bro, I'm about to speed run these toys. I'm locked in right now. I ain't cracking no jokes. All right, that one is eight. Eight. Why does my flashlight keep turning off, dude? Okay, that one is one. That one is two, okay. Okay, hold on. This one is seven? I think that says seven. All right, that one is five. Okay, and here's the last one, I think. Zero? That one is zero. All right, y'all. I'm gonna figure out the code real quick, and then... I'm going to hit that jump cut, and we're going to be upstairs. Actually, you know what? I did not get the one in the baby room. I'm pretty sure there's one in here. Turn this shit on. All right, let me hit this real quick. And four. All right, now I'm going to figure it out, and then let's get it. All right, so eight, two, or eight, nine, two, six, three, and then zero, seven, four, one, five. Hey, there we go. Bella, who is Bella? Hey, yo. Babe, is Kaylee home? Have you fixed her cam yet? I What's good, Bella? Have, you know, our time while she's away. Well, shit, oh, we can hey, help. Hey, Bella. Yeah. Pretending to be Colton. Kaylee's with her parents tonight. What's up? She Seriously? got them lips on her, though. Sound a bit off, babe. Is everything okay? I bet they would feel it's good wrapped around some. Seeing you. Yeah, just a bit tired. You know, it's been a hectic day. He's doing such a shitty Wait, job, huh? though, pretending sure? to be this Colton guy. You sound like something's up. I was really hoping you'd come over. What's the deal? Just need a bit of downtime. Mrs. Susan is missing. Mrs. Susan is missing? You're being a bit vague, babe. I was really hoping to spend some alone time with you. What's the real story? Why do I feel like she's going to be right behind me when I get off this computer? I need to take it easy. Can we catch up some other time? Sure, but you're not fooling me. Why are you being so distant? We had plans and now you're backing out. Bill, it's Bro, not you guys right hear time. the music picking Thanks, up right now? Make up for it. I need to go. I catch up later. Kaylee won't be thrilled about this. Let me hit these icons real quick before I turn around. <laughs> Giggle? Is this supposed to be Google? Can I search on up? Okay, nothing happens. What is this? Is this the camera? Switch cameras with the previous and next buttons and use night vision with the night vision button. Oh. Do I hear the dog up here? Oh no, which room is he in? Okay, that's the laundry room. Okay, she's gone. All right, hold on, bro. Get off the computer and get ready to brace. Okay.
All right, we checking our corners out here. We gotta be calculated with our movements. My siege players know what I'm talking about. Turn this shit on. All right, so he's in here. All right, all right, all right, all right. Stop barking for a second, damn. You can use the internet browser on the computer to search for text clues you found. All right, good boy, thank you. Or sorry, good girl. All right, what does it say, crawler? Okay, so we're gonna go back to the laptop and then we're gonna type in crawler and see what that says. Oh yeah, I'm not reading this for you guys. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna keep it here for a second and then I'm gonna read it and then recap it. So there it is, I'm gonna read it now. All right, you guys, now to just sum up this article real quick for anyone that didn't read it, we are looking for a Miss Suzanne. And this article is written about a Miss Suzanne crawler, which doesn't make any sense because according to Dalton, the dude at the beginning, she's been missing for like a week and nobody knows what happened to her. But according to this article, it says she took her own life, which doesn't make any sense to me. Like, how could they not know about it? I'm getting so scared right now and I'm not ready for what's about to happen. All right, now let me be careful going out this door because she hopped out at... I could have swore I just saw her. Oh my gosh. This is where the game picks up. Do you guys hear that? I feel like I hear some meat sludging around. And she really turned off every light inside this house. I'm not gonna lie though, that shit sound like some good ass macaroni. I don't know if we should go this way. All right, we're gonna go. Oh my gosh. She really took her time with these blood splatters. I think, uh, I think Miss, Mr. Tangy would be, he would definitely approve of this. It's very flamboyant of you. Okay, never mind. She got shit to do. She's not worried about us. There. From now on, microphone will detect every noise you make. You can also start communicating with the paranormal entity. Oh my. Oh! Bro, she just beat my shit in just now. Oh my god. What'd I do? Let me answer this call. Colton, it's me again. Listen, just stay quiet for a sec, okay? I need to tell you something. So, I did some digging online, and guess what? Mrs. Suzanne died some time ago. Three years ago? Isn't this crazy? I mean, why didn't we hear about it right when it happened? Why have you seen her this whole fucking time? Something is not right here. It's like someone wanted to sweep it under the rug or something. This is all so bizarre. I need some time to process this, and you should probably see a shrink or something, unless this is some damn ghost business. I'm done. Don't try to reach out to me. I'm dead serious. Damn, she really just abandoned us like that? Let me check the... What he's calling me. Let me check the cameras real quick. Oh! Shit! Bro, in the room I'm in? That is insane. Bro, where's the dog?
All right, we got to find the dog. She is camping my damn door right now. Show yourself. Are you friendly? Are you friendly? I thought she was supposed to talk to me. What do you want? She's trying to suck his soul out. I... Bro, is she gonna let me the fuck out or what? In that contraption where night after night, ere we slip into sleep, our gazes intertwine, beholding our cherished TV series, just you, me, and our Boshka. Okay, so we gotta go to the bedroom? Oh yeah, right here. Bro, don't tell me I have to start over. Don't tell me I have to start over. Bro, look at her stupid ass. Bro, why is she beating my shit in right now? Use zoom to select and move around the mouse wheel or left stick to rotate. So we got to put the photo together. So I assume Bashka is going to be in different rooms showing us where each of those little texts are on the wall. And then it'll tell us where every photo is. All right, Bashka, where you at? Okay, Bashka in the baby crib. All right, all right, be quiet. Shh. In that place for each time I should have assisted you in cleaning our shared garments on daily grime. If only I could rewind time. We gotta go to the laundry room.
Yeah, she's getting back shots right now. Oh my gosh, she's bolting up the fucking stairs. I think Vashka's in the bedroom. Yeah, we'll go check the bedroom. <laughs> Miss Suzanne, do you suck dick? I'll take that as a yes then. Come here. No, I'm gonna get the worst ending possible. Watch. Alright, shh. There, where I dwell too long, crafting art with labor, yet destroying us in the process. So, the computer room? Oh, so this is the face. I'm gonna be honest though, you crying like a bitch for real. I'm gonna need you to lock that shit up. See, she ain't about it. I don't know what room this is. I think it's the room where the ultrasounds were. Can you see me? Are you a friendly? Place where I never truly existed, where we could have forged countless culinary memories. Oh, the kitchen. My fault, G. Show yourself. She said I'm not your toy, bitch, or whatever the fuck I want you to be. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Are you at Boshka? Are you at Boshka? <laughs> Bedroom again? Miss Suzanne, what are you doing down there? She 
fucking see me. In that realm where you nurtured your flawless beauty, tenderly anointing your skin with fragrant elixirs, your own moistened hands. Alright, the bathroom. Unprovoked? Yeah, she hit me with the fucking John Jones elbows. Y'all saw that? All right, I think one more piece. One more. Let me see on the camera. They made this shit way too easy. In that place where it all ended, I wander incessantly seeking you, my love. I don't fucking have no idea where that is. Never mind, the game's gonna show us. Dirty ass jump scare. Whoa, whoa, I'm sorry. I'm just playing. Is this Holton? I think that says Holton. Let me look. Got y'all. All right. I'm gonna pause it right here. Scroll down, and then y'all can read it, and then I'm gonna summarize it. There's the top. There's the bottom. All right, so basically, this article is just glazing the fuck out of the Sheriff Holton, and that's really all you need to know. is ringing the bell. Why is he ringing that shit like that? God damn, bitch. <gasps> Detective, you say? What brings you to this house, making all this ruckus? Folks around Does he have here a can't gun? get a moment's peace. My apologies, Sheriff. I'm here on behalf of the new residents who requested an investigation into the disappearance of Mrs. Susan, the former occupant of this house. Mrs. Susan? 
bless her soul. She passed away three years ago. Why would anyone be poking around her old place now? Well, Sheriff, sometimes these cases have a way of lingering. The new residents are concerned, and they just want some closure. Closure, huh? Well, I reckon that's understandable. But what's with all the noise? Ah, yes, I'm afraid my investigation can get a bit noisy at times. The fuck does he mean noise? <gasps> this fuss over Mrs. Susan after all these years. It's my duty to follow up on any leads, Sheriff. But right now, my leads point me to this house. Well, all right then. I'll leave you to it, Detective. But try to keep it down, will you? Don't need the whole town up in arms over some ghost story. Fucking fuses went out. Bro, 14 fuses is crazy. What the fuck? This game lied when it said we didn't have any tedious puzzles. Bitch. You put the fuse in, and then you turn it to the corresponding color like that.
Where is she? A chainsaw? Why, where are you? What the fuck is that? This fucking time, I won't let anyone escape. Bro, why is the voice... Okay. Yes, sir. We about to get active. No, no oh. voice... I thought I could talk. Gotcha. Bro, there's two of them. That bitch and her sorry excuse. How the fuck is this fair? What's been coming to? Look at her behind him. Oh yeah, I suck. Ah! Why? Where are you? It's gotta be the most garbage boss fight I've ever been in. Bro, he's got a t-shirt on. How is he eating my fucking bullets like that? After all this, I'm gonna pin all the blame on you. No more running. Let's get this over with. Bro literally has bullet holes in him right now. Suzanne, I'm killing this dude right now. Like, what is you getting in my way for? Should have just stayed out of this. Now you're burned. Fucking stupid ass ghost. Oh, I gotta reload. God damn, dude. Yeah, make sure he's dead. He was eating them shits. Stunning revelation. Detective Wyatt unraveled the dark truth behind the tragic deaths of Miss Susan and her husband. The culprit was none other than the revered Sheriff Robert Holton, a man of authority and respect in the community. Jealousy had consumed him when Miss Su Suzanne chose another over him, leading him to connect. God, I got a burp. Leading him to commit a heinous act of vengeance. Sheriff Holton's manipulation of local news painted him as a hero, disguising his own sinister deeds. He orchestrated the fire that engulfed Miss Suzanne's home while her family sat down to supper, ruthlessly ending their lives, but it wasn't enough. He went further, concocting a false narrative of heroism to cover his tracks. Bro, can she go somewhere? God damn, dude. Miss Suzanne, far from taking her own life, as a fabricated report suggested, was found to have been pregnant when the coroner examined her body. The extent of Sheriff Holden's depravity knew no bounds. Damn. Yet, in the face of such darkness, Detective Wyatt emerged as a beacon of truth and justice. With unwavering determination, he pieced together the evidence, unmasking Sheriff Holden's vile actions and bringing him to justice. That man Wyatt the goat for that one. When the police arrived at the scene, Wyatt stood amidst the tears, a hero in the midst of tragedy. Despite the pain and sorrow, his resolve remained unbroken, a testament of his commitment to seeking out the truth no matter how dark or daunting the path may be. Tori B Production. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, that was Supernatural, the full game. It just dropped today as of July the 15th. So if you do want to check it out for yourself, I will have it linked in the description. Other than that, not a bad game for being made by one person. I do think the puzzles were a little bit repetitive. And then I would have liked to have been able to like have conversations with the actual entity. I don't know. Maybe it's because I was locked in and I was trying to get killed. But when I found those little prompts that you can hit, it was just the character asking the questions and then the entity replies back so i think it would have been cool if you could have done that um but you know the guy did make this by himself so he's just working with what he has 
Other than that, not a bad game, worth checking out. You can beat it under two hours. So if you did like today's video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.